What's going on, guys? It's Rob or Rev Limiter here, and uh, hopefully the mic is a little bit more clearer for you. I got the new mic set up now, and today we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to use your uh, steering wheel and pedals on other games like GTA 5, games like Snow Runner. Um, so basically, when I first got the Logitech wheel and pedals, it worked on Snow Runner. Then I upgraded my pedals. I could no longer play the game. GTA 5, the wheel and pedals just never worked on it. As you can see, I have 5.9 hours. That was me just messing around back in the day. Um, now that I have the wheel and pedals able to work on GTA 5, I will start to do a couple GTA 5 driving videos. But uh, for now, let's just get right into this here tutorial. Um, Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using an Xbox controller emulator and we're going to be setting our wheel and pedals as the controller buttons and that's how we're going to be able to use it to play Steam games. So you should be able to play any Steam game with your wheel and pedals using this here Xbox controller emulator. Basically, the very first thing you got to do is go to x360ce.com um, I'll have the link in the description. As soon as you get here, you're going to have a new download for all games. So you're going to want to click that there. Download for all games. See here, it's going to download. As soon as it downloads, you open it up. So we'll double click it here. We'll open it up. Close this here. You can see here we have the X360 file. So we'll minimize here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new folder on a desktop. And you can name that folder Xbox controller or name it whatever you want. Um, for right now, I'm just going to leave it as new folder just while I show you guys this tutorial. Go ahead and drag the emulator into the folder. And then you can open up the folder and open up the emulator. So as soon as the emulator opens, this is what you're going to see. And the very first thing you need to do is you need to add your devices into the emulator. You're going to click add. And you're going to look for these green ones here means they're online. So you're going to look here for your Logitech wheel. And here's my sim jack pedals. So locate your wheel and pedals. If your wheel and pedals is in one, click it. If you're using a separate wheel and a separate pedals. And click them both like I got here. You're going to want to add the selected device. Um, sorry, I added the wrong one. So you got to actually click them. So Logitech G29, add. Then add again, add Sim Jack pedals, add. You can see here they went into the list. And make sure that it's clicked. Enable two mapped devices or combine. You got to make sure that that's clicked. So now, next thing we got to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear. And I'm going to reset this so I'm starting from scratch. Okay, now we're starting from scratch. So in GTA um, 5, it uses these here triggers as the throttle triggers. So in order to set these up, we're simply going to click the button here to record. And we're going to hit the throttle. Oh, sorry. Click the sim jack pedals. Hit the record and then hit the throttle. Now you can see the throttles going up and down. That controls that. So the second one over here is the brake. You're going to want to click that and hit your brake. So now you have mapped your throttle and brake. Now we're going to go ahead and click the Logitech wheel. Click the A button. And set it to the X button on the Logitech wheel. Click the B, set it to the zero. Click the Y, set it to the triangle. Click the X, set it to the square. Okay, now for the joy pad here, we got the joy pad on our wheel, so we'll go ahead and set this up as well by clicking these buttons and setting which ones for which. Okay, that's set up. Now for our steering wheel, we're going to want to click either or left or right. So I'm going to click left here, turn the steering wheel to the left. 
bring it back to the center. Done. You don't get a quick right. Obviously, it knows it's going to go right. Or you just set it to the left. If you turn it the opposite way, it's going to go the opposite way. So now we have our wheel dialed in. We have our pedals dialed in. We have our buttons on our wheel dialed in. We can do a few more things if we like. But your next step is to go ahead and save. Save all up here in the top right. Once you've saved all, now your configuration saved. And your next step is to go into the game. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you here. We got our triggers here for our throttle. You can see I'll push on the throttle. Sorry, left thumb. Um, uh, which one? Oh, let me pick the spin jack pedals. Triggers. Okay, now you see once I click this, you can see here in the triggers it's working. So you can set a dead zone. You can set sensitivity. Exact thing with the left thumb or right thumb for your steering wheel. If you want to set a dead zone with this, you can. If you want to change the sensitivity down here, you can. Or the force feedback. You can change the force feedback here. So these are all settings you can play with before you get into the game. Make sure you leave this open. Your next step is to open up Steam. And then go to Steam Settings. Go to Controller. And make sure that Enable Steam Input for Xbox Controllers is ticked. Once you click that, close out of this. What I found works best sometimes because it won't work is just to restart Steam. Steam will open and then it will have the Xbox support for controllers. And then as soon as you go into any of your games, say we go into GTA here and we'll just go check. Um, now your wheel, your pedals, and your steering wheel will work. So if you have any issues with this, uh, feel free to reach out or leave a comment. Um, I've followed a number of videos, couldn't get this to work. Some of the videos are 40, 50 minutes long. And, um, you know, some of these videos were saying you had to drag files to different locations. And after messing around with it for a bit, I figured out that you just kind of need to leave the program open. Make sure you save it. Make sure Xbox controller supports clicked. And now I'm able to use my controller or my uh, steering wheel pedals as an Xbox controller and use it in any of the games now that I was previously not able to use it in. So we'll just click story mode here right quick. Now that this is loading in. Take a quick second here. I don't know where it's going to spawn us because I let the little guy play uh, last time I was here. So. Okay, so... from somebody there are more pedals are working I'm gonna need a boy your car there for a minute there brother thank you yeah so I'm giving it gas here steering steering work so the only difference with the steering is I gotta steer the wheel you gotta almost turn the wheel quite a bit to get it to turn so the best way to go about fixing that is to open up your logitech right now the logitech set to 900 degrees there in rotation so if i was to turn that down to say 400 that would make this a lot better so that's one thing that uh i can do but as you can see the wheel and pedals are working gas no problem and brakes no problem so, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe. If you have any issues, reach out and I'll try to help you. Thanks for watching.